Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the perimeter and area of a square. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So before we start, solving for the perimeter and area of these given figures, let us define first what is perimeter. Perimeter of a square is defined as the total distance around the square. So it is the total distance around the square. And first, um, we know that the definition of square, it has all four equal sides. So let me represent first the sides of a square as A. This is A, A, and A. So again, we have here the definition perimeter of a square is defined as the total distance around the square. So basically guys, what we need to calculate here in the perimeter of a square is the total distance around the square. So basically, all we need to do is to add the sides of the square, which is your perimeter. You can have A plus A plus A plus A, or simply your perimeter is equal to P is equal to 4A. This is the formula for the perimeter. And for the area, for the area, area of a square is the region that the square covers in two-dimensional space. So the area of the square is the region bounded by, by the sides of the square. And to find the area of the square, the formula is simply A squared. Okay? So I hope you learned something from this video about the definition and the formula of the perimeter and area. So let's start with this example. So we have here, find the perimeter and area of these squares. So in number one, we're given the length of the sides of this square as 5 feet. Since they are equal, all of them are equal to 5 feet. So using the formula, P is equal to 4A. And we know that this is your A, which is equal to 5 feet. Simply substitute the value of A to your formula. P is equal to 4 times 5 feet. And then simplifying this, this will give you P is equal to 20 feet. This is the perimeter of item number 1. We have 20 feet. So for the area, using the formula, area is equal to A squared. Your A is 5 feet. Substitute the formula. For the value of A, you have 5 feet raised to the power of 2. Para ano lang siya 5 feet times 5 feet. And your area is simply 25 feet squared. This is the area of your square. So you have 25 feet square. So let's move on with item number two. For item number two, the given sides here, or the length of the, each side, is 15 inches. So for the perimeter, P is equal to 4A. So you have 4 times 15 inches. And then there you have it. You can have 60 inches as your perimeter. So, I hope na clear yung ating explanation for this given example. So, you have 60 inches. And for the area, same formula, A area is equal to, oh, sorry, A squared. So, you can have A is equal to your side 15 inches, then square, and 15 squared is 225 so this is 225 inches squared so there you have it the answer is 25 inches squared so if you have any question about our discussion today about the perimeter and area of a square you can comment down below and if you have any requested topic that you want me to cover within this channel you're free to comment down that topic so if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. At hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. 
Again, I am the Trigon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.